Hey everyone, so welcome to our project. We are going to be doing a two-part video on how to do deck framing over EPDM roofs. Um, you know, there's not a lot online about it, so we're hoping we can give some insight on the way we do it or the way it's specified in this project from the architect. Not saying this is the only way you can do it. This is just the way this architect spec'd it out on these plans. Um, so here we're doing our part one video and that's going to be the framing portion of the video. So as you can see now, we have all of our two by four ACQ deck frame down. Um, so remember, this is a floating frame. We have rubber roof. So when I'm talking about EPDM roof, that's our rubber roofing here. And this roofing is sitting over foam board and then below that is plywood and then below that is the framing and of course inside the house. So this is a really, really, um, you know, sensitive area, you're doing roof decks like this, you cannot have any penetrations in that EPDM because then you will have leaks into the house and there's nothing worse than that. And this would be really hard to fix that because you will have to take all the decking off later. Um, so we'll get into that in the next video, which is going to be how we put the decking on and how to create some access uh, to get to this certain areas later. But so you can see now we have uh, blocks at every so often and what, we, what you have to consider is your top of curb height um, on your roof deck. So you really, you obviously can't go higher than that. So when you're building your curbs around the outer edge of your roof deck and your flat roof, you have to think about your decking ahead of time. Um, because basically you have one height here and remember this EPDM roof is pitched because it has to drain. So you have in this scenario, we have water going to that corner and to that corner. So our roof basically pitches down this way and out over that way. Um, there's a little bit of a ridge over here that's you know carrying the water to where it needs to go. So what has to happen, your framing has to also follow that contour and you cannot be higher than the outer edge. Um, so let's walk over here and I'll show you what I mean by that. So here you can see our outer frame is flush with the top of our copper flashing here so that when our decking goes on, it's gonna come right over. And then we have, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do like a picture frame detail. So we're gonna do a border with one piece of mahogany. Now that will get screwed into the copper cap, which is gonna go through the EPDM and through our double or triple two by four curb. Um, but that's okay, cause we're able to waterproof it. We're gonna put silicone in the holes and make sure that it's you know, properly fastened and, and watertight so that water doesn't get in. Um, but in this area, you cannot screw this decking down. So essentially this whole thing is pretty much sitting here with the weight of it. Um, and we will have some screws going into the post and whatnot where we are able to waterproof the screw heads. And um, what's gonna happen next, all the decking is gonna go on top of here. That'll be in our next video. And um, we're gonna have to also create some access for our drains so you can clean them out and whatnot. But that's the basic framing detail of your roof decks over EPDM. Um, so just to recap, keep in mind, you cannot screw this frame into the EPDM. You will have leaks. There's no way to waterproof it right. Um, two, when you're framing this and you're putting your curbs up, when you're in the framing process, make sure your curbs are coming up high enough so that when you put your decking in, you're not gonna have any elevation issues with your framing. You, the worst thing that could happen is your framing is higher than your outer curb, and that's gonna be really hard to fix because you have door height issues like you see over here. You have to remember that this deck also can't be higher than that door, and this deck can't be higher than that curve because um, you're gonna have a lot of issues. And because the roof deck is pitched, you have to cut all of your framing on the pitch so that it stays flat and then everything has the right elevation going from every corner into every door. Um, and if you do all that, you take that all in mind up front, you're gonna be fine. You obviously have some things that you could tweak if you need to later on, but you really don't have a lot of flexibility with that. So hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, make sure you stay tuned and follow us for the part two of how to install the decking over this frame. And uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. See you soon.